Valley isn't a place you'd usually expect to find ghosts hanging around. But here at the Highland Lanes Bowling Alley in Jacksonville, too many unexplained phenomena have happened to simply shrug them off. All of them are non-believers. Were non-believers. We all believe now. Nikki Spraglin's family, who bought the bowling alley in 1991, were pretty much all non-believers in ghostly phenomena until strange things begin to happen. Footsteps, whispers, shadows, and even bowling when the building was locked and no one was there. Still, Nikki wasn't convinced it wasn't all in her head until she saw someone standing at her counter. I could catch him out of the corner of my eye. And then when I looked, there was no one there. May I help you? Although other members of the family and even some customers have had similar experiences, Nikki's brother, Roger Ward, was the last to be convinced. I have a gun shop in the front, and you can hear a lot of stuff that's going on out here during the day. I heard, like, pins fall. Well, a ball hit in the lane and rolling, and pins fall. And I said, I wonder who's out there bowling. Because it's a distinctive sound. I mean, you know what a, a ball hit in the lane sounds like. And you know what the pins sound like when they fall. And it's, it's loud. It's not something quiet. So I come out here and looked all over the place. The place was dark. All the pins were still standing. No balls on the ball return. I think that's weird. And that's happened several times. Now, the building contains a game room, an office, a gun shop, and a workshop. But most of the phenomena seems to be coming from right here in the bowling alley. The catwalks on each side of the bowling lane seem to be a favorite gathering place for the spirits. And you would hear somebody walking to and from the back of the bowling alley. And, of course, no one's there. The first few times I heard it, I thought, oh, it's just the building moving. Well, it happened, you know, several times. At first, Roger didn't tell anyone about his experiences, but the unexplainable continued to happen. One night, I was walking from the back, and I looked up, and I could have swore I saw somebody walking into the kitchen area. So I looked everywhere and everything, never found anybody. Roger's wife encountered one of the entities when she was searching for Roger's lost keys. But she said she heard a little girl's voice and it said, Mommy, I don't have his keys. Mommy, I don't have his keys. If indeed there are spirits here at the Highland Lanes bowling alley, they seem to be of a friendly sort. Some people say maybe it's people that love bowling. <laughs> And they couldn't leave the place. I don't know. I guess if you believe in spirits and stuff, I guess they come to have fun, I guess. Fun carried from life into the afterlife. Until next time, from Jacksonville, I'm Joan Hallmark.